Hey, my fellow Belmonts, welcome back to Let's Play some more Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. We last left off. Uh, I think Gore's hacking our ship, and we need to go back to our ship. I don't know why he's attacking my ship. But we need to go back. Yeah, I went the wrong way, did I? Yeah, that's my doc. Yeah, I went the wrong way. Okay. So, never mind. But yeah. We need to go get our... We need to go check up on our ship. Don't know why Gore is doing it, but we have to stop him. Because he's gone crazy, like always. I mean, not, not like always, but you get the point. But again, if you like the Let's Play, like the whole video in general, why not consider giving a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe down below, hit the notification bell. You can join our Discord, link in the description below. And if you want to support the channel further, there's Patreon and YouTube, not Patreon. There's Super Thanks and YouTube membership. I become a Squire Martial Knight. It's optional, but will help out the channel. Link in the description below. Alright, time to head back to the, um, docking bay. Where am I going? Am I going this way? Wait, where am I going? There's 100 pickups. Where am I going? I I I I can't. Oh, it's R. Okay. Okay. Now I need to go up. So through here. That's where I need to go. Oh wait. I have speedball. Give me a second of thought, I have speedball. Looks like we got a U ramp. Half pipe. All right. Got to research. Okay. Cool, Belmont. Cool. Cool. Nice. There you go. Puzzle solved. Through here. Oh, missiles. I'll take that. <laughs> That's easily missable, unless you go back. Back to my ship.
wish I could scan that. If I had a if I had a better beam, I would uh use that for a shortcut. All of these would be good for shortcuts. But nope. No, it will not. Yeah? Ship priority status alert. Hull armor taking damage. I know. I'm heading there right now. I know. I'm heading there. I didn't pick you up. Oh, huh, weird. Gift. I didn't get you. Several decades several decades passed for the Chozo here at Elysia. The harsh winds and storms began to take their toll on the station, and upkeep began to take up more and more of their precious time. Seeing the need for assistance, they created us. The first Elysian, built by Chozo hands, stepped out of the machine. Uh, uh, 1,450.82 years ago. Crewed by our current standards, the first was soon given the greatest gift of all by the Chozo. To better assist the creators, the first was given self-awareness to all other Elysians. The first shared the Chozo gift. This event marks the one year one of the Elysian Reckoning. Huh. There it goes, off a cliff. I want to know what those creatures are. Hey, some heals. Ship priority status alert. Warning. Hull integrity is compromised. Armor damage is critical. Oh, God. I'm coming. I'm here. Fucking gore, what are you doing? Gore, stop that. Stop that. Just in time. My dead body. Gore. Shield repels all weapon fire. Powered units on the back. Gore's energy shield is capable of repelling all weapon fire, but the back mounted generator is supposed to attack. Overloading the generator could expose the well protected critical systems behind his battle armor. Gore's arsenal is considerable. Plasma based beam weapons attack claws and multi missile systems are the cyborgs dispos disposal in battle. This battle system can be combined and fired at once for a devastating alpha strike. Target is also capable of high speed ramming attack, although there's a potential danger to perform over slippery surfaces. Ice.
Got him. Headshot. Oh boy. Hmm. Bomb? Lower target appears to be connected to Gore's meat CPU. Vulnerable to ground attacks. A bomb. Or. Gore can now enter hyper mode, increases his offensive ability, susceptible to, fa susceptible to phase on energy. Alright, fine. You want a tango? Gotcha. Can't do nothing, Samus. He's gone. He left us a gift. Gore defeated. Oh god, that was actually pretty fun. This is the um, plasma beam. Plasma beam. Plasma beam. Ooh, it's an ice beam configuration. Pachoo. Hmm. Heat gun. Plasma beam online. Fires the plasma beam. Plasma beam is capable of melting certain metals. And also does good for, um... Alright. Alright, I think this ship needs to be fixed. I can't use pla I can't use power beam anymore. I have fully I have full plasma. We have killed Gore. Not one I want to lock on, but okay. That was cool. That was a close one. We're melting the robots now. Perfect. Achoo! Still got ice missiles though. Look at the melt. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Wait. Oh no. Where's the uh, one with the cannon? Is this the one? Next one it could be? 
Yes, next one. I have plasma. I can use this to my advantage. That's why I got the energy tank. Fire! Whee! Ugh. Ow. Oh, I'm in the Aurora unit. Okay, I can fix I can fix them now. Save room. All right, I can fix this guy. All right, back to the Aurora unit. Don't worry, I'll start fixing you. I have the plasma, so... Oh, <laughs> this is cool. You need to be fixed. Yeah, I got it. Communication online. Now we have a means of fixing, um, machinery like that. Now I can't communicate with this guy. Thank you, Salus. We have restored our connection to Skytown's network. Now we can execute our plan to destroy the Leviathan. We must first disable the Leviathan's protective shield. Unfortunately, the generator for this shield is hidden beneath the dense clouds of Elysia, and so is impossible to reach directly. As an alternative to destroying the generator, we have calculated that a massive thermonuclear explosion would likely destroy the shield itself. This facility possesses the components to create such a device. We would like you to build this device and drop it on the Leviathan shield. Unfortunately, the components are too large for you to lift unaided. You will need assistance to move and assemble them. There is a Federation landing site far to the east of Skytown. You will be able to find something to help you there. We will upload the current map data of this area to your suit. This should help you get started. Good luck, Samus. You download the map for this area. Oh, there's no map room in this game, this area. All right, so what do we got? We said the far east. So the north, south, east is this way. This way. Sky tram west. Alrighty then. Paperworks. Zip line. Yeah, I don't think I have the power to do do any of that yet. Uh. Logbook updated. Man, that was a burp. <laughs> Soda burp. Unintentional. Happens.
So no swapping beam to beam, which understandable. But now my problem is that I don't. That means my beam is not really good against the um, the other planets. Um. Oh. Ship status update. Auto repair functions complete. Ship is ready for use. Thank God. <laughs> Wee! That's a big town. Yep, I'm going. Yep, I'm going the right way. I need that shortcut unlocked. I don't have screw attack. Samus, perhaps what you require to access the Federation landing site in the east is not on this planet. The item you need may reside on the world you have previously visited. Hmm. True. True. True, true, true. Go back. Where can we go? Oh, what's this? Go through here. Weep. Missile expansion. Nice. I need screw attack. But can I unlock the uh, landing site here, though? There is a landing site. Wait, am I in the right spot? No, I'm going the wrong way. Pretty useless. This lore. I did not grab this one. I keep forgetting there's lore. Come on. Alright, fine. There. Wise screen man. Alone. Wise screen man. In the year 400 of Elysian Reckoning, the time for our chosen creators to leave has arrived. They told us to trust the station and its purpose. We were to stand vigil and watch over the station until the time when others seeking knowledge and enlightenment arrived. With the departure came one last request from the chosen searcher to continue exploring the skies for answers to the mysterious planet. We gave her our, wor our word and resumed her tireless search. Day after day, we, are we hunted... This, we are hunting for the same answer she desired we saw, but our efforts yield nothing. We failed. Samus, the security locks have been engaged on this landing site. This was surely a result of Gore's recent activities. I will unlock this area, allowing you to command your ship to land. Oh, thank you! Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, we got a fast travel.
All right. So it could be on another planet. Where would that be? Brio? Cliffside Air Dock. Anything in here we can go? Oh, we can go to the hangar bay now. We have the, um, we have the beam. We can go here. Okay, cool. Save and enter the ship. There's only one hunter left. And oh boy. Is she a bitch. Ain't she a bitch. Head for the Federation outpost. Let's go. We'll be back later. If I can get screw attack, I will be back. I am. Let's go through here now. <sighs> I'm talking about the other guys. Where am I, anyways? this security clamp overloading the clamp with energy could destroy it what energy <laughs> more lore more beautiful lore victory we the lord of science mishan mishandled the use of our knowledge the devastation of the war robbed us of our rare resources necessary to fuel our war engines. Without our machines, we were unable to stand up to the primal armies, and they overran the enclave of many science lords. What few remained fell into the dark place, polluted wastelands, even the bravest of primal warriors could not dare enter. Wherever joy there may have been amongst the victorious was quickly stamped out by the grim reality surrounding them. Braille, the cradle, their sacred home, was on the verge of death. What do you do? Oh, you breathe fire. Oh, that was pretty easy. Energy. Is there another beam I don't know about?
cold base weaponry. Ice missile. I wonder if we're gonna get another beam for that other security lock. Huh. I mean, I could have frozen them with the ice missiles. I think this is permanent now. Oh, that's frozen now. It's weird, but okay. Wonder if screw attack can make it go fast, go over there. No, oh, sip missile upgrade. Decline. Forgotten in exile, a creature of myth. I, the last lord of science, worked tirelessly to protect myself and this world. I crafted magic and machines to bring life back to the wasteland. I found a new source of natural energy in the land they call it Fuel Gel. I vowed to atone from the devastation inflicted upon Brio, which caused was caused by both science and war. Yet while I while I toiled, the primal slipped slowly into barbarianism with no science lords to hunt, they turned on each other, tribe against tribe. Magic was lost to them, and uh as, and they became as savage as the predators predator beasts of the wild. Oh, they turned on each other, huh? That's a big guy. That is a... Ship missile expansion. Giant impact can shatter those bars. Oh, there's there's a path in the back. Duh. Okay, never mind. Or my stupidity. Something in here that we can use? It's a puzzle. Yeah, it's a puzzle. It leads up to, um... It leads up to a missile upgrade. Got it. Nice. Missile expansion. Whew. At least I got him.
Weapons fire will this case a lock. Hey, wait a minute. I've been here before. Is that a new enemy? No, I've seen this guy. Ow. It's one of those puffer enemies. Through the holes. More lore. I love lore. Salvation. The great machines of science lore perform flawlessly. They absorb the toxins and pollutions in the air and soil, preserving, preservating the remain for all Santa Brio. Yet the planet's climate was forever changed. Leaving one side entirely scorched by the sun, the other forever in the icy grasp of darkness. The launch of the machines revealed a hidden enclave of science lords to be of former enemies. The bright lights in the sky caused by the de decontamination equipment stirred old hatreds in the hearts of the primals. Fuming a new attack, the primal sent their warriors forth to hunt their hated foes. We are on, we are now marked for death. Oh boy. That force really hurts. How come the robot's ice are stronger than Samus's uh, missiles? Grab the missile expansion. That's all it is up here. I feel like I've been cheated. Wait. Shit. Okay, there you go. I didn't mean to do that. Again, Belmont's been hitting like escape again. Hope this record goes through because I have an idea. It's a dumb idea, but I have an idea. Really hope the record went through. You know what? I'm gonna see. I'll be right back. There's actually one more. There's actually something up here. I didn't. I forgot about the half pipe here. But now. Further analysis of the ancient reptilian ruins on Rio has revealed a unique energy spike. We suggest you investigate this phenomenon. We will transmit the coordinates to you now. Energy spike? I was gonna go grab this missile tank expansion. Where is it? Oh. Uh, oh. There's another one with the fire thing. You know what? There you go. Missile expansion acquired. I was wondering if I can just use the big ship thing, but yep, apparently that's where we need to go. Okay. So we're not ending this let's play off, so ow. We're gonna go down here. So we're gonna go to the opposite side. I kind of wish there's an ultra widescreen vert hack, like fixable version of this game. Or I should get myself a 4K monitor. I should. There's my ship. Alright, we're on the wrong side. Well, at least we found some items. 
At least we did. Let's just admit that one, okay? So an energy spike on fire, real fire. Right there. All right, now I have the plasma beam I can um, melt ice. It's a ship missile expansion. I mean ship missile. Missile expansion, duh. Pachoo! Pachoo! Denver! I need. Oh, I need the boost ball. Go hearts. Or that can work. Lore. Prophecy. As time slowly passes, I grew old. Even the combined power of magic and science couldn't cheat death forever. In order to preserve Breo's environment, I would need a successor. Finding one was a daunting task, for most of the folks saw me as a monster. Time passed quickly as I searched. My main efforts to appear to be in vain. Similarly by chance, I found a young primal wandering in the wasteland and rescued her. But this was not a chance encounter. She was prof prophetless. Tireless and searching for the last Lord of Science to speak to speak to speak about her visions. In her dreams, she saw a starborn death coming to Brio, and with her vision came a plea to save her world. Based on her information, I began work on improving the existence of decont decontamination equipment to help prepare the defenses of Brio against an eventual catastrophe. Talk about the sea thing, right? Maybe. Another missile expansion. Not bad at all. Still need to go up there. There's an ice door. Which, I have ice missiles, but I don't think I can reach. Reach it there. It will not be for Vayne, though. Hi, guy. How you doing? I'm ignoring you for the time being. Now, through here... That's a golem. Let's uh, power this up, shall we? All right. Oh. Too heavy. All right, ring the gong. Oh, a spinning thing. Alright, that should work. That can break. Break it! 
break it again. There you go. Much better. What is that? Teleporter. Where does this go? Oh. A new area discovered. Or in the icy side, Brio Ice. It's cold in here. Black guy got the plasma gun. Can't do nothing. I don't have, um. Ugh. I don't have screw attack. Another lore. Our plea. Sally disaster came to us before we could finish our work. An ancient call an an accident accident. An accident caused our supply of fuel gel to explode, setting fire to the sky and exposing our position. It was not long before the primal war band saw the great fire and rushed to attack. Without a way of power my great uh Monginers, I had no way to defend myself in their assault. Fleeing would only drive them to pursue us to no end. They would show no mercy to either one of us as caught. I had the other choice to accept my stand and stand my ground while the prophetess fled to safely. With her, I sent my records to the past and hopes to find hopes they will find both sanctuary. Now you read my last words, etched in stone and placed by the prophetess. We speak f you from beyond the grave to plead with you. Save our world from the starborn plague. Lift the veil of hate from the eyes of our people. May our re remaining relics serve you well in the struggle. I'll do it. Okay. Whatever that means. It's cold in here. It's cold in here. Hey, the Chozo. Ah, here's the screw attack. I'm happy you got screw attack this early in the game. Usually it's a late game item. Now we can go back to Elysia. And head head to the west. Uh-oh. So press spacebar again while double jumping. Like jump, double jump, and then press spacebar again. This is a lot easier than Metroid Prime 2, I'll be honest with you. Hey, look at that, um, spider rails. We don't have spider ball yet. Yeah? Who is that? Magnetic rail system, I don't have spider ball. Wall jump surfaces. Yep, screw attack.
wonder who's that mysterious messenger. Well, that's all there is. We'll go back here until we get the um, spider ball. That was weird. That was definitely strange. I don't know who mess who messaged me on that part, but. It was unknown at the time. Uh oh. Samus. Samus, are you there? We have been trying to reach you. Is everything all right? I'm all right. There are some important new findings. Really? A reconnaissance probe has discovered the location of the missing flagship ball hollow. Really? As I am sure you are aware, this vessel was attacked by pirates five months ago. We request that you investigate the ball hollow. Really? The Valhalla's here. Golf our system. Ugh, I keep pressing the wrong button. Come on, Richter, stop that. Golf our system. Well, let us continue our search. Let's head to the Valhalla system. What happened here? GFS Valhalla. What happened here? We need an energy cell. We need an energy cell. Do we even have an energy cell? Oh, we do. I didn't think we did. Weird. This device is placed for data for energy cell ID. Energy cell status unknown. Coordinates. Neuron. Data indicates energy cell is connected to manual generator override. So there are more energy cells we need to go grab. Miniroid, combat related and eligible. Infant has has not developed powers. 
Meteorites are tiny and weak, will travel in flock for protection. They float and fly in search for sustenance. Those that survive will grow quickly, becoming a feared parasite known throughout the um, cosmos as Fozon Metroids. Gelsack. Gelsacks are aggressive creatures, roaming their territory and defending within all comers. When provoked, a Gelsack will begin expanding the body, quickly filling it with co um, caustic phase on base venom. This continues until the Gelsack explodes, sending a spray of deadly food in all directions. Oh, explosives, cool. Ow. Liquid Phazon. Spawns Phazon garbs. Consume Phazon in any form. Liquid Phazon appears to be a subsistence glob of Phazon. Their young are known as Phazon grubs and eventually metamorph into the adult or puddle form. They excuse a toxic chemical to protect themselves from predators. Contact with the substance can be deadly. They can alter their shape in a limited fashion, usually avoiding incoming attack. Here's the Phazon grub. Phazon grubs are drawn to bioenergy in all forms, especially Phazon. They're immune to its uh, mutagenic effects and carrying it in their bodies as they roam. The bite can affect the victim with um, Phazon corruption, making them a plague barrier of sort of a sort. No energy cells in inventory. Okay, that's fine. Well, I know now that I know where two is. Used. Brio. Data indicates that energy cell is connected to hangar security shield system. Okay, there's one in Norin and there's one in Brio. In the hangar. Hey, I have not provoked you. Ugh. That hurts. Phase on leech, non-aggressive scavenger that feeds on wounded and dead bio forms. Phase on leeches thrives on the bio energy dream from weakened and dead prey. They're often roaming groups, leaving behind toxic trails as they slide across the terrain and search for subsidence. Their bodies are soft and unprotected, making them easy targets to dispatch. We're on a bug hunt, kids. Is that a pirate? That's a dead pirate. Cool. Oh, I should write this down. Actually, I should write this down. I was like... I'm looking at my notepad. Where did my pen go? Here it is. All right, I have my notepad. Should buy like a small notepad. Okay, so.
So, energy cell uh, two Rio hanger three Nor Norton Gen -er generator. All right, what's this one? It's in Brio. It's in Brio. Data indicates energy cell is connected to a hidden fuel gel pumping station. Hidden. All right. Wrote that down. I have a notepad. I was like, wait a minute. I should write this down. I don't think this could be break. Yeah, explosive blast. What's this? Oh! Phase on hopper. Cover with crystallized phase on spits venoms from a distance. Based on hoppers are more resilient to other hoppers, but can still be damaged by standard weaponry. The crystalline phase on covering the body provides additional protection from attacks like other hoppers. These are capable of long range assaults and they will sp spit birds of phase on venom at prey from a distance. Another energy cell. All right, Sky Town. This one's in Sky Town. Energy cell five. Sky Town. Data indicates the energy cell is connected to a research sampling container system. Re. Research. Okay, put that down. All right. Research. Gotcha. Grab that missile expansion. That's not bad at all. Something happened to this Valhalla, and I do not like it. Oh boy, um, I don't have a feel. So we're actually, we actually we can't do much here until we grab the energy cells I've written down. So that's what I think I will do. I'm gonna see off camera where I can go. If we can't go, we'll head back to Sky Town and continue our um, adventure. Time to deal with you. I'm out. A lot of phase on here, I'll be honest.
All right, so when we come back, uh, we're I'm gonna check and see if we can get to some of the um, energy cells. If not, then we'll continue on with uh, the Skytown. Until then, we'll see you guys next time. Later.